Talk a little bit about what you're seeing with that, because I think that's kind of interesting. It's a different angle. You know, we talked to, I talked to, to Zoe Upton earlier in the year about, you know, using social media for more diversity and more other things on shore-based, shore-based jobs. But here I'd like to t- hear, you know, kind of what's going on with social media and that stuff with this, with the seafarers. Cause I think it's, it's important and it gives a voice, hopefully, you know, a little bit more than what they've been experiencing in the past. Yeah, definitely. So social media is growing rapidly among all industries. Um, and it has been growing extremely rapidly within the seafaring community. A lot of it, I think, gets ignored and so, sort of bypassed by the, by the corporate world of maritime. Um, but I've never ignored it. It was the first thing that I identified actually when I first joined Propel Me was there that, that there are tons of what we call seafarer influencers who are these characters. Um, with all kinds of messages, you know, all kinds of ranks, all kinds of backgrounds that are creating content on a daily basis, not for, not for money, not for profit whatsoever, just purely to create value for seafarers. Um, and there are some unbelievable case studies out there. The first guy I came across a guy called Chief McCoy. Check him out on YouTube. He's got about 420,000 followers. He's a chief engineer uh, from the Philippines. And his stuff, he's not, he's not going to be dancing, like doing TikTok dances, but he's creating once a month academic videos for seafarers teaching them about the what, what what the realities of life on board is like he's he's creating videos long format videos where he's showing people you know particular areas within the ship how to become a chief engineer how the importance of learning english and being able to write english things like that like continuously providing value for his audience but that's just one case my focus was the filipino audience to begin with but when I came back to the UK, I started to travel elsewhere to these other labor markets. I realized, wow, there are, there are these seafarer influencers everywhere. Last month, we, I did a really awesome campaign with a guy called Captain Thomas Lindegaard. He's a... Um, he's, from Merck. Yeah, you, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's from Merck, part of the board of directors from Merck. Um, and we did some campaigns together for um, Pride Month as he's a, he's a, he's a proud uh, flag waver of, of the LGBTQ community. And he does a lot of fantastic work there. Now I see it is a ship is like a garden, right? If you want to create, you have to plant, you have to create a space for numerous plants to grow. That is how diversity is made. Okay. You have to create a safe space for all plants to grow. So I think that there's one small element, which social media can really help with.